Sunday, August 21. A thousand rams? Unlike every other religion, the religion of the Bible teaches that salvation is by grace alone. Nothing we do can ever make us good enough to be accepted by God. Our good deeds, however well-intended, however spirit-inspired, can never bridge the gap that sin has caused between God and humanity. If good works could save us, if good works could atone for sin, if good works could pay our debt before God, if good works could reunite fallen humanity with the Creator, then Jesus never would have had to die for us. As it stands, only the death of Jesus credited to us by faith, only the righteousness of Christ can save the sinner. Nothing less than the death of Christ could solve the problem created by sin. With this in mind, consider now Micah 6 verses 1 through 8. How can these words be applied to us today? Here are excerpts from Micah 6 verses 1 through 8. The Lord has a complaint against his people, and he will contend with Israel. O oh, my people, what have I done to you? And how have I wearied you? Testify against me. For I brought you up from the land of Egypt. I redeemed you from the house of bondage. And I sent before you Moses, Aaron, and Miriam. With what shall I come before the Lord? And bow myself before the high God? Shall I come before him with burnt offerings, with calves a year old? Will the Lord be pleased with thousands of rams, ten thousand rivers of oil? Shall I give my firstborn for my transgression, the fruit of my body for the sin of my soul? He has shown you, O man, what is good. And what does the Lord require of you? But to do justly, to love mercy, and to walk humbly with your God. Those who claim to be children of God but who fail to show justice and mercy to their fellow men are acting out the spirit of Satan, no matter how piously they may adhere to any forms of worship. God is seeking true worshipers who are willing to demonstrate their love for him by obedient lives motivated by humble hearts. What do all the right prayers, all the right styles of worship, and all the right theology mean if the person is nasty, unkind, arrogant, unjust, and unmerciful to others? What do you think is more important, correct theology or correct actions? Can you have your theology right and yet treat others in a poor manner? 